for problem of the day. It reads, there are six cookies in a display case. One third of the cookies have chocolate chips. Which fraction model does the shaded part represent the cookies that have chocolate chips? This looks very similar to some children on the playground with some swings that light bulb you got wrong yesterday. All right, so we are looking for what fraction? We're looking for a fraction that told us in the problem what fraction are we looking for? Courtney, one third. Are any of our answer choices partitioned into thirds? No. No. My advice to you is that you need to go back and next to each fraction model, label what the fraction is. So let's look at A. What fraction is shown in a, Kaylin? One six. What about B, Aiden? Two six. If you are not labeling, you need to be labeling. What about C, Lucy? Three six. What about D, Ryan? Four six. Lucy is pretty much the only one who used this strategy throughout the test, where she wrote out what each fraction was, each answer choice. Do this, do that. Because now that you have labeled what each fraction is, can you figure out which one's supposed to represent one third? What if you didn't know? Draw a bar underneath in your notebook. Partition that bar into thirds. Compare fractions, the bars have to be the same. The same length, they have to be equal. Yep. Yep, really, yeah. I'm going to partition this into six. Why am I partitioning into six? Because that's what all my options are broken into. partitioned into six, can I easily tell which fraction shows one third? Please pick a pencil and go sit down. Can we easily tell? Maybe, yes, no, okay, dear. One six. One six. Those are equal? No. No. It may be B because if you shade in one more, then they'll both be even. Are those equal? Yes. 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 So what is an equivalent fraction to one third? B. Mason? Two six. So this model right here, B, that represents two six, it also represents one third. Is it broken into thirds? No. no. But the value of the shaded area is the same as if it were broken into thirds. Are there questions about this? Because like two people got it right yesterday. Do we know how we got this answer? Gabriella. Because 
No, 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 no. Is it a question? No, okay. I'm going to say it again because I said it before to you, G, and not very many of you heard me. If your answer is not there, you knew you were looking for one third, and one third was not there. Your answer is not there. Look for something equivalent. Go ahead and write that down, just for funsies, because not a lot of you heard that advice yesterday. If your answer is not there, don't raise your hand, Thomas Miller, because you're wrong. Don't write that. If your answer is not there, look for an equivalent number. If your answer is not there, look for an equivalent number.